firstly, I will introduce our first uh, presenter. Her name is her name is Tessie Anakrijem. She is from Sarawak, and her and she is from SK Sungai Buloh, Selangor. Her project name is Buloh Mini Digital News. Okay, so here's a bit of description regarding her project. Below Mini Digital News encourages the children to be actively involved in producing their own learning material through interviewing people and writing stories in English for other children to read. Besides helping them to improve their English language proficiency, it helps these rural children to learn basic digital skills that are essential for them to compete globally in this 21st century. This authentic and organic approach offers the opportunity for the children to express themselves and learn from one another. This sounds interesting. Okay, so uh, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Zell. So please allow me to share my screen. Okay. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the uh, to Check Book Kick Start Our 2021 Bootcamp. So Buloh the Mini Digital News is my project. So here it is. So um, due to the pandemic, and 94 94% of learners worldwide were affected. This is according to UNESCO 2020. So in my context, I'm teaching in rural school. Due to the limited access to English at home and lesser contact during online classes, the pupils suffered for severe learning loss, especially for English, listening and speaking. So post PDPR, after PDPR 2.0, this year six, year six 2020 to year six 2021, they were reluctant to express themselves during English lesson. So especially during listening and speaking lesson, my class were dead silence. This was before I introduced this project to them. So to provide you with some um, background or context about this project, this is my school. This is my this these were my students. They were all now graduated to form one. So my school is located in Selangau in Sarawak. So yeah. 95% of the pupils in my school, they are Iban, and 5% of others are from other indigenous ethnic in Sarawak. They live in Long's house, 80 kilometers from the town, from Cebu, and almost all of them has very limited exposure to English at home and also digital technology. So after um, PDPR 2.0 based on the PBD or classroom based assessment, I found out that 64.7% were in performance level one and performance level two. Some of them can't even respond to the text or to the audio they are listening and they can't even utter words or sentences to respond during speaking classes. So due to so I conduct semi instruct a uh, semi structured interview to know more about the their problem. So they say that they could not generate much idea from the topic given because they don't understand the topic, especially in listening activities. They they listen, but they don't understand, so they can't respond. So that is when I come up with this project, Buloh Mini Digital News. So. This is basically what is Bulo Mini Digital News about. The pupils, they play the role as reporter or journalist. They create news or information for their friends to read. So they play the role as reporter and they create the news. So it is a purpose-driven activities because they knew what they wanted to know. So they create their own dialogue and they go and interview their friends, the teachers, or their parents at home. And according to Ladus 1995, cited by De La Octavia in 2019, role play, this kind of activities promote interaction and increase motivation of students in learning. 
And this project also promote people's autonomy. They chose their own topic of interest and this give them responsibility on their own learning. And this is also provide authentic learning or by using authentic material, for example, their own dialogue, their own topic of interest. So everything is very authentic for them. So they were so interested in these activities. And finally, number four here, or just now I was talking about number three, they when they conduct the interview, they gathered information. And then uh, number four here, they publish their own Buloh Mini Digital News. And during this publication, they discuss and they evaluate. So by discussing and evaluating, they are using their higher order thinking. If you can see here, this is taxonomy bloom. So they are using their, their blooms. This is Bloom's taxonomy. They are using their evaluating skill, their analyzing skill. They pick the information that is important. And then when they create, and then later they create the news and share it to the to their parents and also their friends. So basically they are using HOTS in publishing, in creating the stories. So this is the process of Bulo Mini Digital News. First, they play the role of the reporter, writer, and then they were given topics and they chose by themselves and they discuss with their group member and they conduct the interview or explore what is the topic about and they write and share the stories to their friends and family. So um, th this are the this was the implementation of the project. Um, I received one. So what I did was I bought two secondhand laptops for the students because they need all this to type. They need all this to type their reports and then to publish it, and also for training purposes. Because they are year six last year, so they will last year they, they will graduate soon. So they mentor the younger pupils. For example, like this boy in year six mentoring um, the year four. This is how I met, uh, I try to make this a sustainable project. So they mentor they they pass it down to the younger pupils. Also, we had collaboration with local studio. If you can see in this picture, this is a guy from Pivun Studio. They gave um, some briefing about how the real interview um, is done in studio setting with all the equipment, the cameras, the microphone, the lighting. Yeah, so there is, yeah, so the kids really have fun. But the challenges that I faced last year was PDPR was extended to December 2021. So we also have quite poor internet connection in the school area. So we had to postpone online training because we actually um, had made appointment with some lecturers to give them training, but it has to be postponed until it is possible to bring the kids out and this group of pupils they were also graduated in february this year 2022 so now i am training new batch of pupils which is year four this year so this is the product of their project so after they write they publish it in any flip this is free anyone can use this so any flip they publish it by themselves, they write and publish it by themselves, and they also create a poster by using Canva and create a um, QR code for, the, for their friends and their parents to scan and read. So all of these are the digital skills that are introduced to them through this project. So yeah, so quite simple because this is uh, their first poster. For the next batch, next batch, I will, I will teach them to be more creative. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So from my observation, after a few months of executing this project, these pupils they show positive behavior toward listening and speaking activity in the classroom. They before they graduated, they have showed that they need only moderate to little support 
to creating the text, listening, um, sorry, speaking text during for the interview. And they were able to transfer the information into their report with little guidance. They have that confidence. Um, so this is their performance level before and after the project after the project. So before the project, those who are in performance level one and two were 10 people. And then after the project, it lowered to only three. And then those who are in were in performance level three to performance level five, it increased from seven to 14, 50% increase. And this is the achievement of our Abulo Mini Digital News um, because they created the uh, QR, sorry, the Google form for the feedback. We knew that more than 100 readers, they, they read their news, their mini digital news. So among their, among their peers and also the community, and then we received 100% positive feedback from the readers. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm so excited. Um, also, I sent this abstract to few conference and it was accepted to be presented in fifth international conference on teachers ictld international conference on teachers yeah. learning development and international conference of english language and also Ethiopian belly and last but of this um for my reflection this bull of mini digital news it's a role play which increased the confidence and give the genuine purpose for the pupils to listen and speak. So it is also supported by research done by Nur Anis and Abdul Halim Masnan, who says that those, uh, all this role play influence the children's ability to speak English as second language. It also enhanced the active participation because they are intrinsically motivated to learn and improve themselves, also supported by research. Thank you and have a nice day.